Hey everyone, today I'm going to be checking out the Fuji XF 27mm 2.8 lens from Fuji. You can see straight away this lens is super small, it's a pancake lens. And yeah, the title is not clickbait. I did get this bad boy for $81 in the end. That works out to be about 58 to 60 US dollars, which is just crazy cheap. That's actually the main reason why I'm making this video. It's a half PSA about how cheap this lens is. And we're also gonna take a look at it and why you might wanna pick up one of these. Now, this is not a sponsored video at all, but I'm gonna need to mention that I picked this up from Ted's camera store here in Australia. So the reason why this is so cheap is because Fuji have a $100 cashback option on this lens at the moment here in Australia. And Ted's are selling it for $181. So take away the 100, that's $81 out of your pocket. You're gonna to need to lodge the cash back with Fuji, which I've already lodged. But yeah, in the end, you'll be getting this for $81. So enough about pricing, you get it, it's cheap. But I've already got an 18 to 55, and I think a lot of people will have the 18 to 55, all the 16 to 55 is their sort of main starter zoom lens. So why would you wanna get a 27 mil pancake lens if that focal length is already covered in those zoom lenses. And the simple answer when I asked the Facebook group was the size and the weight. So let's check out the X-T3 with the 27 mil lens up against the 18 to 55 and also the 55 to 200 to see how much of a size and weight difference this tiny lens actually makes. But until you sort of try it firsthand, you really don't appreciate it. Like myself, I'm just like you, you're probably checking out this video, should I get this lens? I was in this exact same boat, but I was testing this lens out, I put it on my camera, and I actually found I was taking the Fuji X-T3 to work more and more because it was just such a huge size and weight relief on the camera. And using a pancake lens like this just really reduces the size of it. Now, in the autofocus department, this autofocusing has a noticeable motor movement. You can see this when shooting stills or video. On the 18 to 55, it has a sort of smoother focusing, and on this, it's very jumpy. You can notice the steps. Stills wise, the autofocus is not too bad. If you're street shooting or if you're just out, out and about taking some photos and you can just take a second to take a photo, it's really fine. You don't need that sort of precision. Shooting video, you can see it hop when it's focusing. I've actually got a little demo here of the 18 to 55 versus the 27 mil, and you'll be able to see the hopping on the 27 mil, and it really shines a light on how good the 18 to 55 is. It's a lot smoother compared to this one. So for any sort of planned video content, I probably wouldn't use the 27mm, I would use that zoom lens. But you know, if I needed this in a pinch and it was on the camera, you can definitely whack it into video mode, take some shots, and I really don't think too many people would notice a difference. Image quality wise, actually really impressed with this. I don't even notice the difference between this and the 18 to 55. I started to shoot some like for like photos between this one and the 18 to 55, but it really just got boring real quick. So instead of doing some comparison videos, I'll just show you some photos that I took with this uh, straight out of the camera, as well as a little bit of post-processing. I'm gonna do a very minimal amount, maybe just some touch up on colors and contrast. I'm not gonna touch with the sharpening, but I just wanted to show you the original photos as well as the processed ones. So overall, I really can't recommend this lens enough, especially for the price. When are you ever gonna get a Fuji XF or really any lens for that matter, brand new for $81? And 
you know, this isn't some third party beta, this is a first party lens. It's definitely not top of the line, but it can hold its own very well. Still selling for $3.99 in the States and we're getting it here for about 60 bucks. So it's a huge reduction. The image quality is good, the autofocus is just acceptable, but the real winner here is the size and weight. The whole ethos of mirrorless cameras is to downsize your gear, and I think these pancake lenses match with that perfectly. So the $100 cashback promotion from Fuji runs out on the 31st of July. I'm not too sure how long Ted's is gonna be selling this for so cheap. You know, realistically, you can find any other store that's selling it for a pretty good price here in Australia. You know that you're gonna get $100 off. You don't have to go to Ted's, you can go wherever looks good to you. But yeah, the 31st of July is when that Fujifilm promo ends. I also mentioned that uh, 55 to 200 also has a $300 cashback. So that takes that lens from 750 down to 450. That's why I was initially looking at that going, hmm, that's a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna do another video on that lens. I just wanted to mention it here as well. So hopefully this has been helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you already own this lens or if you plan on getting one because it's so cheap here in Australia at the moment. Hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date with all my videos. The feedback I've been getting from everyone is super inspiring. So thank you very much. Thanks for sticking around and we'll catch you on the next one.